hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl cecilia ho and um, in today's video i will be sharing with you a tip on how to make a vegetable chicken pie so what i'm making today is a vegetable chicken pie and uh, to be able to do this i'll be using the following ingredients I have the chicken pie here to be able to make the vegetable chicken pie I'll be using the following ingredients I have chicken grounded chicken which I'll be boiling I have some avocados here I have green peas I have spinach I have two eggs and I have my seasoning thyme, parsley, lemon, pepper, garlic, powder, salt, no chicken. I have baking powder and I have flour and uh, butter. So for the flour, I decided to use the normal flour. I would have loved to use like a wheat flour. Well, I don't want everything to look too uh, weight watcher uh, meal. So I just want it to be appealing to people that don't really like veggies. So that's the reason why I'll be using this flour. But you can actually substitute this all purpose flour for wheat when you're doing yours. And it's going to turn out very well. All right, let's dive in. So here are the ingredients that I'll be using for my vegetable chicken pie. So instead of using the normal um, potato, I will be making the filling with this chicken, avocados, green peas, and spinach. That is what I'm going to use for my filling of the chicken vegetable pie. So, I have a grounded chicken here, and I've added all seasoning, thyme, lemon, pepper, garlic salt, salt, and some maggi. So, I'm going to cook this just for a while. Just going to add a little water into this. So, I've added a little water to this. And I'll let this cook for a while. So this is the chicken that I'll be using for the filling of my meat of my chicken vegetable chicken pie. So I'm cooking now for a while. I'm going to blend uh, my veggies. I have avocado in here. I have spinach. And I'm also going to blend the green peas with it. Well, this is not going to fit into this blender. So I'll have to blend them batches. Avocado, spinach, and green peas. I just started making the pastry, um, the filling for the veggie chicken pie. So here is the boiled seasoned chicken. And here is my veggie. Here I have three types of vegetables, avocados, spinach, and green peas. And so I'll go ahead and start frying now. Just to make the chicken vegetable pie filling so making that now so the onion is done I'll go ahead and add the seasoned boiled chicken now so I just added the 
chicken and please keep in mind I'm just making the filling for the chicken vegetable pie trying to make the filling because this have already boiled the chicken so I won't waste time in cooking this so the next thing I'll be doing I'll add my blended vegetables I have avocado here spinach and uh, green peas so I'll be adding this and I'm going to add based on the quantity of chicken that I have here I don't want to add too much remember I'm substituting a mashed potato that people normally use with the veggies so that's the main thing we so added the veggies to the chicken so instead of using mashed potato I'm using veggies I blended spinach avocado and uh, green peas so I think I need to add more because I still have some chicken here so I'll go ahead and add more I don't want to add too much okay I think we're good now so I'm using don't forget I'm using vegetable instead of using the normal potato I'm using vegetable substituting um, the potato with veggies because I'm making chicken pie and I'm making the filling this is the filling so now I don't want this to stay too much on the fire so that I don't denature the um, the veggies. So I'm just going to have season, Maddie, Maggie, and uh, I'll have to reduce the heat so that I don't denature the the veggies. I'm going to add thyme, Maddie, thyme, so thyme. I'm going to add a little of the oh my god that's too much then I want to add some lemon lemon seasoning you can add anything as you wish to your taste so I'll go ahead and add parsley flakes keep in mind that goal is to make vegetable vegetable chicken pie so I'm adding parsley Martin parsley flake into this and the last thing I'll be adding will be garlic powder so I'm adding garlic powder just later so now let's stir everything together so I'm making vegetable chicken right so I'm just making the filling and this looks so beautiful in fact, it looks so tasty. And you don't want to um, put the heat on high so that that doesn't denature your veggies. So, here you go. And the last thing I'm going to add to thicken everything. So, I made like, um, I use flour, flour, I mix with water just to thicken to make everything come together. So I'm going to add a little bit of this. This is what people use to thicken the the meat pie filling. So I'm adding the flour. It's just to thicken it to make everything come together. Okay. I think I have to add a little more. Just a little of this. Just to thicken it. You might not add this if you want. Is optional or well, I want it to firm up the, the the filling so this is done I'm just letting I'll let it steam up a little bit I'll be ready so my people here is the filling that I'll be using for my veggie chicken pie so I made the sauce the filling and uh, what I have in this, I use, instead of using potato, I substituted potato with three veggies. 
I use avocado, green peas, and spinach. So I blended the avocado, green peas, and spinach, and um, I boiled my um, chicken. And um, after boiling the chicken, I fried everything together, use red onions. And here's the filling. So here's the filling I'll be using for my pie. I have the vegetables, chicken, filling. So I'll be using this. This is very, very nutritious. Substituted the potato with this. So, um, I'm making the chicken veggie pie, and here's the flour I'll be using. Here's the quantity of flour I'll be using. Now, I will need to add baking powder. So, I'm adding baking powder. That should be enough. I'm also going to add some seasoning so that the filling can be tasty. I want the filling to be tasty. And uh, another thing I'll be adding, I'll be adding some garlic powder. This, it has some salt. So I added the garlic powder. And now I'll be adding, let me add a little baking powder now. So now I'll be adding butter. So I'll be using two of this butter. I'll be using two of this butter, imperial powder. So I'm adding this two. Now I added one and a half butter. So I'm just going to mix this. I'm going to mix everything. Oh. I'm gonna mix this together and you should mix your baking powder with the flour and the seasoning together before adding the butter. So mixing. So I'll add the pastry inside. Add the pastry inside. So now I have the pastry inside. So I'll cover it up with another. And just cover it up. I'll cover this up with another. I'll use my fork to press this. I'll use the fork to press this down. And I already prepared my pan, so I'll be baking it from this pan. So all I need to do, just taking this, put it here. <laughs> 